Hello Guardians, it's me Hunter Gunslinger here back with a brand new video. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you guys. Hope you and your family had a really great celebration. Today we're going to be talking about Sloan's schematics GIF uh, activity that you can do. Uh, right now I'm on Titan, so basically this is where the activity usually starts. Uh, you have to kill like 40 acolytes to complete this activity. So I went on Titan to the area where you start the Sylvanian song. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Um, there is a lot of acolytes in this area in that little, little I would say scientific kind of facility if you put it that way. It's kind of like completely different than the other outside of Titan. Um, there's a lot of acolytes in that area. You got to kill at least 40 acolytes to complete this activity. Then you have to go on Nexus to get some 10 resources to complete the activity. And once you complete that activity, you get something from Sloan for the dawning activity. So I went in here, killed like 40, you know, acolytes really, really quick. It's not that hard, it's really easy. They kind of respawn really quickly. Then I went on Nexus and, you know, see the little fall in front right there. And I collected all uh, these resources, 10 resources actually these data resources that you get on Nexus, uh, the little thing that looks like a VEC type of technology type of thing. You go here, that's the first one right there. You collect 10 of those items at that port. So the first step, kill 40 acolytes. Go on Titan, do it really, really quick. You can do the Sylvania Song Shrite. You can do either way, you can do that. Go on Nexus, just kind of like go around you know, Nexus kind of find some around here. I went basically to find those best resources. I went to the area where Failsafe is at. Uh, she has a lot of resources in that area. And as you can see, I kind of like just blow through this whole Nexus area, trying to find as many as I can, find 10 of those things. And once you complete 10 of those things and complete 40 Acolyte kills, you're pretty much done. You're pretty much over with, you, you're you done with the activity. Yeah, it's, it's that simple. Um, I know there's like other activities that want you to do a quest line, they want you to do this, they want you to do that, not this quest line. So once I finally found the last one, the quest step is basically go back to Sloan, and Sloan will give you a dawning pretty much gif. It could be anything, it could be shaders, armor, swords, weapons. It could be the items that she have on Titan. You never know with these loot type of crates that you know Destiny and Bungie put out themselves. A lot of people were talking about how the the quest line and basically getting like the necessary loot from the dawning is not perfect, it's not helpful for them, and it's been BS. So I don't know. I just now got back my PS4 this weekend and I'm just getting into the dawning activity. So I wouldn't know. So once you complete activity, you go to her and I, I approached her and this is basically what I got. Now I did went through to see what kind of packages you get in this activity. And as you can see, this is the holiday spirit items. You get a sword, a shell, a ghost shell, a ship. You get some tokens for Nexus, the European Dead Zone, Mercury, and some lanterns. And then once I completed and I got myself a vehicle, I got myself a sparrow, a dawning sparrow, and I got Nexus token. I got five of those to be redeemable at that space. So basically, once you completed that, that is pretty much it. Try your luck on it. There's a lot of activities you can do. There's Sloan, there's a Madden Holiday, Banshee 44, Commander Zava, K6. A lot of them have somatic gifts that you can complete each week. And once you complete those, you would get some dawning loot gear. Now, before I end this video, to give my honest opinion on the dawning activity, it's just like any other dawning activity that we complete during, you know, Bungie's time with Destiny 1. But a lot of people felt like it's not really living up to the hype that they were pushing out throughout their live stream. Now, like I said, I have to give it a week to see how it is and see what kind of loots I get. But a lot of people showcasing a lot of loots they got and they're very satisfied with it. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Hunter Gunslinger and I will see you lovely guardians in my next post.